Hey guys, I'm back with part two of my Ulta haul. I'm just gonna get right into it. Let's see what kind of goodies we have today. Back with this again. Like this just literally fell out of the bag. Let's I think this up first. I'll just start with these. Um so these are hand creams. I've never used them before, but the price was good, so I got them. I got five of them. I'm gonna test it now to see if they're good. This brand is called Sweet. Sweet and Shimmer. It smells very Christmassy. It smells like <laughs> oh, it just smells like Christmas. It's moisturizing. But I was a bit doubtful in the beginning because it feels very light, but it does do a good job. This um this scent is the frosted coconut. I also got the whipped vanilla and the sparkling berry. It's not bad. I was a little doubtful. Also got this uh, refill for the La Roche-Posay foaming cleanser. I just finished the bottle I had, so instead of getting another bottle, I decided just to get the refill and save a few dollars. So you see, I am trying. Um, I don't remember how much this retails for, but it is cheaper than getting a new bottle, and I have the bottle, so why not? Also got a new Jumbo Morphe setting spray. Um, this will probably last you for a year, even if you do makeup every day, or, well not every day, but relatively often, because I have one, and I probably bought it last year, about October as well, It's a, and it's just about finished. This is my old one. This is my new one. I guess they did a price increase. Um, the bottles look a little bit different too. But I don't think the formula changed. As you can see, like the older one is like matte kind of. And then the newer one is like shiny. I really like this. I like the way the... So this is like a continuous setting mist. And I like that. So this is, this is how it sprays. It's just, I don't know, I can't explain it, but it's different from, all right, for example, like the Urban Decay All Nighter. This was almost finished, I really should not be wasting it. But do you see how that, I don't know. I just like both. I like to have several. But yeah, so got this because the one I had was almost finished. And what did I tell you? Like every single time I buy anything from Ulta, I get a new lip oil. This one, I feel like I never saw this shade. I don't recall seeing the shade when they released the original ones. It's Honey Talks. And it's fall, so I think this will be a good fall shade. So I'm gonna try this out. I think it's a cute shade. Also got this NYX eyeliner pencil. What I have right now, I don't know what it's called, but let me show you. I mean, it's still a liquid eyeliner, but this is a pencil version, so I'm gonna show you the difference. So this is what I currently have, which works fine. So you see how it's like, kind of like, it's not a wand, but yeah. This is what this looks like. And I'm not the best artist, so I wanted something that would give me a little bit more precision, and that's why I decided to try the pencil to see how that would work for me. So this is what the pencil looks like. So I'm thinking it's gonna be a little bit easier to be more precise when I'm doing my winged liner. We'll see. These are lashes, and I came across these on TikTok. Um, so they're pressed on lashes, but it's not the strips. It's like, what do you call these little clusters? Uh, I don't have to apply glue to it or anything. It's already pre-glued, and I'm gonna apply it under my lash line. I'm hoping that I'll be able to do it. I'm curious to see how it works. So I got a pair, well, I got a set of these 
and I'm trying to see what kind they were to see if they were like wispy or oh active actually the version I saw on TikTok was kiss but when I read the reviews it, it worked pretty much similar to Ardell but most people that used both said that the band on the Ardell it was like a lot thinner and still looked more natural so that's why i opted for adele but i think in terms of functionality they are pretty much the same so we're gonna experiment with these i'll be happy if they work because yeah i'll just be happy if they work okay also got a banana powder from wet and wild and I got a one from Wet n Wild because I've never used banana powder before because I'm dark skinned and that could give like extremely crazy flashbacks so I'd prefer to try it on something cheap before splurging on a good setting powder a, ban a good banana setting powder um, yeah we're gonna see how this works bronzer i've never actually owned a bronzer before so i got this one from juvia's place it's a deep dark one i do contour but i've never used bronzer so what i usually use to mimic a bronzer is my um like a blush like i'm gonna show you probably use this shade right here the Abbey shade to mimic a bronzer. I just never knew if it was something I was really gonna get into, but I feel like, okay, it was time to test the waters. So let's see what it looks like together. I hope I like it. Or sometimes I'd use an extremely dark foundation as a bronzer. So it was just time to actually graduate to a bronzer, right? Oh, this is in there good it's so cute it looks like a little booklet right not too sure how much i'll be able to use this shade but we'll see but i think i could have some fun with this one well actually i could probably use this one as like an eyeshadow but we'll see Oh, and I didn't see the mirror. This is nice. I'm gonna try this out real soon. All the TikTok girlies know this one. This is a lip stain by Citru. So the images kind of show you how it works. You put it on, you let it sit for like 20 minutes. Let's see what it says. Well, this is 10 to 15, but all the videos I've watched are like 20 minutes. And for people with darker skin, usually the longer the better. And I haven't seen too many people with my complexion trying it. It may or may not work that well because our lips are already a little bit darker. So I'll do a video showing how this works. I'm hoping it does work because I do love a really nice liner. So if I could have the lip stained liner, that would be so perfect. And I got the shade Clover. This was the darkest shade they had, I believe. It was either Olive or Clover was the darkest one. I think this was the darkest one because yeah also got this spa headband you'll be seeing it a lot so get used to it i think that's it for purchases another bag i think these are more samples i got a cute little pouch This is cute. It's pretty big. I guess I'll just keep my samples in here. The material doesn't feel very great. It feels kind of super synthetic. Not that I was expecting anything. I'm just saying like, I don't know if it looks like it feels good, but it doesn't feel like that great, but it's cute nonetheless. And it's, it's pretty, like it's pretty big this could be like my travel makeup bag or toiletry bag it's it's a decent size and i like the color too all right so let's get into my samples uh first thing is uh, this bobby brown foundation sample set i already have 
a Bobbi Brown foundation and I really really love it. After I tried it for the first few times, I was in love. I stopped using all of my other foundations. The only shade on this I could use is the Espresso. Let me see what shade I have. The shade I have is Chestnut, so I'm not sure if this is going to be a match. Well, actually, let's see. Because it does tell me here, Espresso, Chestnut. So it's not too far off. It's a little bit darker, but I think it could work. So I'm going to try to see. I like Bobbi Brown. I actually got a number of fragrance samples. YSL Libre Flower and Flames. Let's see if I like it. Give you a first impression. Why aren't people talking more about this? This is such, this is a definite thumbs up for me. I love this. It smells really good. Wow. It's like the YSL DNA with flowers. Like, so nice. Also, what happened to the rest of my juice? Like, this is the half a bottle. And it's so nice. I'm mad. I'm complaining because what? This is so nice. Um, another fragrance. This is Jean Paul Gaultier, and this is a. This fragrance is. What's it called? Divine. Oh yeah, actually always like the bottle of this fragrance and I probably just get it because of the bottle. I think I do like the scent. There's a number of fragrance samples in here, so I'm not gonna spray this one on my skin. I'm gonna put it on a strip and I'm only giving first impressions. I'll do other videos giving more detailed reviews. So let's see. I think I like this fragrance. I think I've smelled it in store before. Yeah, this is very nice and feminine. I like this fragrance. It's a go. But I'm obsessed with this YSL flower. Oh my god. Whew. Most wanted Zaro. I know I like this already. I think it's a male fragrance because isn't it? I think Zaro is do they have female fragrances? I kinda already know that I like wanted. So but I'm gonna see. Refresh my nose. Yeah, this is a male fragrance. I mean, it could go as unisex. I'm not big on unisex fragrances. I like to smell very feminine and yeah. There are very few unisex fragrances that I'd pull for. It's not like strong male. Like I said, it could go unisex, but I'm not a unisex person. I'm going to take a small break from the fragrances so that I could give my nose a reset. So the next thing I have in here is the CC cream. This has been on the market forever. None of these shades will work for me. So Ariana, you could try these. Exuviance. This is a serum. It has, it says restores radiance, 212% improve visible signs of aging. Okay. Stravectin, another serum. Man, I may not have to buy serums for a long time. Um, what is this? Dionne's Goat Milk Skincare. Oh, so this is a hand cream. I like this. This is cute. This is cute. I'm gonna go back to a few fragrances again. I'll maybe do like two or three at a time. Paco Rabanne Fame. This, I think, or this particular one, I think is a male fragrance. I know how this one smells a little bit already. But I'll refresh my nose. Also, yeah, like I said, Wanted. I didn't say if I liked Wanted or not. Yes, I like Wanted. Fame. Paco Rabanne.
what do you think this is a male fragrance because this i mean it could be unisex but it's more on the feminine side it's not a heavy hitter it's kind of subtle i like it i would wear it i don't know if that i'd buy a full sized if the price isn't if it's not priced right but it's something that if i had I'd, i could see myself going for on some occasions it's not overpowering at all i like it so far i like everything prada products i don't have to smell this one i know i like it i love it what says virtual flower is that a new scent um yeah i think it is but i'm not gonna i don't think i'm gonna do any more fragrance sniffs i'll just show them to you and then i'll smell them in the future another fragrance Givenchy irresistible this one looks so pretty i'm gonna there, this is the last one i'm gonna try this just looks so cute i hope it smells good this cannot be a perfume and it is perfume it's given a very toilet i don't like this one this one is a actually i lied i don't like the initial smell but the more it dries down the more i like it it's i like it not love you know what i don't know it's confusing me right now um another fragrance this one is love notes i don't know that i know of this brand has jasmine petals tonka cashmere woods oh love notes by ariana grande i don't own any ariana grande fragrances um i think this sounds like it'll smell good though yo i got so many fragrances this one is by tori birch um sublime not gonna sniff like i said but you see how this is filled up this is the energy i wanted ysl to come with because why did they give me half a bottle and that smells so good okay um good molecules this is the hyaluronic acid i've never used the hyaluronic acid before but i've actually i have i just didn't repurchase um because i just used this nail mason instead but i do use their um what's it called the discoloration serum so and i know this is a very affordable brand that has been really that really has been doing good lately so you could check out some of their products kate somerville this is an exfoliating cleanser armani my way nectar i have the armani my way what's the intense version called again i don't know but i have the intense version and the original my way i have a small vial of that the nectar i've never sniffed this before but i already know that i'm gonna love this armani fragrances just usually have this super sweet flowery background if you're someone that doesn't really like sweet fragrances usually the my way line avoid it at all cost and i got me a little primer from elf this primer is good i have a few so happy for this Whew, more fragrances this one is a rolf lauren never sniffed a rolf lauren perfume before this is a toilet version um not sure what the scent is but we'll get into that in the future and we're winding down this is a uh, estee lauder cleanser two in one treatment mask joico i've never heard of this brand never used it before it's a mask formulated with collagen okay and this is i'm gonna get a few uses from this one then I have Tula. I think this is a moisturizer. Yeah, this is a night cream. It has probiotic and superfoods. Okay. This is a good sample box. Promise we're almost done. Then we have an eye cream from Olen Riskin. I never, you know, I know this brand, but I've never tried to call the name because what is this? Hmm? Yeah, Monomonka Spiral. What is this? This is something from Tarte. I don't know what it is. Let's see. Part A. Oh, it's a blush. 
Mm, I don't know that this is my shade, so I don't think I can use this. This is kind of looking light. This is giving I'm going to look very ashy. And the last thing is the serum from Avini. Never heard of them. But we're gonna see what this serum do. Just checking to see that I went over everything. And I did. Okay, so I've gotten everything. And this is where I'm gonna end the video. Stay tuned for part three, where I'll be going over some of, not all of my Sephora um, purchases. And also look out again for my review videos. I'm particularly interested in trying out that lip stain to see if it works for me. And also getting into these fragrances. They're pretty good. The YSL one I think is definitely going to be a banger. I know I'm going to really like the My Way um, Nectar as well. But I don't think I'd get it. Because uh, yeah. I already have one similar. And in terms of longevity and all of these like designer fragrances. It's not that great. So you're going to have to keep reapplying. Well, some of them because the Victor and Rolf Floor Bomb, I don't think people talk about that fragrance enough. But that fragrance has really, really good longevity. And it's not very, like, it's not immediately similar to the My Way DNA, but it gives the same kind of super sweet vibe. So if I'm gonna opt for another super sweet, I would go for that one because it stays longer. But anyway, why am I turning this into a fragrance thing? This was just supposed to be a haul review. Anyways, like I said, stay tuned for part three. I will see you later.